Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the living room furniture set for the 18-inch dolls. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown at the end of the instructional video. For this instructional video, I will be using a drill to make assembly go a little faster. Feel free to use a hand-filled screwdriver. But if you choose to use a drill, please make sure you have the torque setting set on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. So let's get started. For step one, you need two of part A1, which is the table rails, two of part A2, which are the table legs, and four of the S screws. So first what we're going to be doing is putting the rail coming off from the table leg. When looking at the table leg, you're going to see a side where the holes appear larger. This is where the screws are going to be going into and into the rail. Now the rails have on the very end a hole and a peg on each side. You're going to want the peg at the top and it's going to be going into the two holes here on each side. Now also looking at the rail, you're going to see a side that has the plastic inserts. You're going to want to have those facing in towards the center so that you don't see them from the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in that wooden peg on the top hole and we're going to screw through the outside here to hold this rail into place. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So let's get these screwed in. We're going to repeat the same thing by putting on the other table leg. So again, having this larger hole to the outside, the two hole, smaller holes here, top hole is meant for the peg and the bottom hole is meant for the screw. So we're going to put in both of those pegs on both sides and then we're going to put the screw in and get both of these screwed into place. For step two, you need part A3, which is the table top, A5, which is the bean bag chair, and four of the S screws. And for this last step, what we're going to be doing is adding the top to the table. Now when looking at the top, you're going to see these two pieces here, and when you look at the very ends, you're going to see a small hole on each end. This hole is going to line up to the holes seen here in the legs of the table. So what we're going to do is we're going to rest this table top on here in between the table legs and then we're going to screw in through the table legs to go into the table top, those boards underneath. So let's put all four screws into place. For step one you need part B1 which is the chair left arm B3, which is the chair back, B4, which is the chair seat, and four of the S screws. So first what I'm going to be doing is putting the chair back onto the chair seat. When looking at the chair back, you're going to see a side that has the plastic inserts. You're going to want to have this facing towards the back. When looking at the chair seat, same thing. There's going to be a side that has plastic inserts. You're going to want to have this facing down. So when you have the chair put together, you won't see any of those plastic inserts. The back is going to go on top of the chair seat where it's going to line with this hole from the bottom here through to here and we're going to screw up through the bottom to hold this back into place. Then what we're going to do is put on the left arm which you'll see on one side has these three larger holes. This is going to go to the side where the two bottom holes are going to go through the chair seat and this top hole is going to go through the chair back to hold that seat into place. So let's get all four screws screwed into place. For step two, you need part B2, which is the chair right arm, B5, which is the chair rail, B6, which is the chair cushion, you need three of the S screws, and you need part T, which is the grip tape. So first we're going to put the chair rail on the bottom of the chair here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to find these two holes on this left arm that we already have put into place, and these two wooden pegs are going to go into those two holes. So we're going to put that in. Then we're going to repeat the same thing we did with the left arm with the right arm. So again, finding these three holes, 
where you're going to line it up to the holes on the seat and the chair back. So we're going to line it up, making sure that these two peg holes get into these two holes here. And then we're going to screw all three screws into place to hold this right arm into place. So let's get these screwed in. Lastly, we're going to be putting the chair cushion into place. Now this chair cushion you'll see has a shorter side. This is going to be to the back of the chair. So to make this easier and to make sure that this hook loop tape gets put on here correctly, first what you're going to want to do is want to put the cushion on the chair. And you're going to want to have it line up to the front like so. Then what we'll do is we'll put the back down. We're going to take the hook tape, we're going to attach it to the back of the chair cushion so it's firmly hooked together. Then what we'll do is we're going to remove the adhesive from that hook tape and keeping that cushion into place we're going to put up the back and firmly stick it to the back of the chair. This way you know that, that hook loop tape is matching up in the same position. For step one, you need part C1, the sofa left arm, C3, the sofa back, C4, the sofa seat, and four of the S screws. For the sofa, we're going to be essentially repeating the same thing we did with the chair. So when looking at the back, same thing, you're going to see one side that has the plastic inserts, we're going to have the spacing to the back. Also with the seat, you're going to see the one side that has the plastic inserts, we're going to have the spacing down. Now you're going to see the side that has the hole here. This is where the back is going to sit on top of it and we're going to screw through the bottom to hold the back into place. Also with this arm here, you're going to see the side that has the three large holes. Again, this is going to be going to the outside where you're going to be screwing into two into the seat and one into the back. So let's put all four screws into place. For step two, you need part C2, the sofa right arm, C5, the sofa rail, C6, the sofa cushion. You need four of the S screws and one of part T, which is the grip tape. So next what we're going to do is put the rail on the bottom side of the sofa. Looking at the rail, you're going to see the two wooden pegs on each side. These are going to go into these holes on the arm that we already have put into place. Now ideally these wooden pegs should be able to slide right into these holes. In the case that it doesn't fit or they don't have enough room, sometimes you do have to go back to this side, loosen up the screws that you've already screwed in for the bottom, readjust the bottom seat up a little bit so you have a little bit more room, and then re-tighten those screws. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push this into place, and then we're going to put on the right arm. So the right arm we're essentially going to be doing the same thing we did with the left side. First making sure we get these pegs put into place in these two holes here. And then we're going to put those three last screws in. So let's get this right side screwed into place. Lastly, what we're going to be doing is putting the sofa cushion into place. When looking at the sofa cushion, you're going to see a side that's longer, which is going to go on the bottom, and the shorter side, which has grip tape on the back, will go to the back of the sofa. So what we're going to do is we're first going to put the cushion on the sofa, where that grip tape piece should be on the back. We're going to lay down the back. We're going to take the other side of grip tape that we have, we're going to adhere it to the back of the sofa cushion. Now push down on it firmly so it's, that's nice and attached. Then you're going to remove the adhesive piece and then you're going to keep that sofa cushion where you want it. You're going to fold it up and wherever it meets the back then you're going to firmly press that grip tape into place so that the cushion is held right where you want it. 
And that concludes the assembly for the living room furniture set for the 18-inch dolls. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.